The Night Hawk Star. Nighthawk was such an ugly bird. His face was mottled and the beak was split way back to the ears. Look at that ugly face. He is an embarrassment to all of us. What a big mouth. Maybe he's not a bird, but some kind of frog. Little talkative birds were always saying bad things about Nighthawk. Even though the name Nighthawk sounded like Hawk, he was not part of the Hawk family. The reason why he had this name was because of his powerful appearance while flying and also because he warbled sharply, which was somewhat similar to a Hawk. And the Hawk really hated it. One day at dusk, the Hawk came to the Nighthawk's nest. Hey! You really need to change the hawk in your name. You don't deserve it. Mr. Hawk, that's impossible. It's not impossible. Hey, why don't you change to Ichizo? That's a great name for you, isn't it? You have to hang a sign around your neck which says, I am Ichizo, and fly around everyone's nest by tomorrow daytime. If you don't do it, I will do terrible things to you. The hawk fully spread his large wings and flew back to his nest. The Nighthawk closed his eyes and thought about it. Oh, why does everyone hate me so much? One day, when I rescued a white-eyed chick who was falling to the ground, I took it to the parents. But then the parents pulled the chick away from me as if I was a thief. After that, they were laughing at me. Oh, I am sad, so sad. It started to get darker. The Nighthawk flew out from his nest. When the Nighthawk was flying with his mouth widely open, many small insects flew into his mouth. Even if there was a beetle stuck in the Nighthawk's throat, he still swallowed anyway. But the Nighthawk felt a throbbing pain in his chest. Perhaps I'd feel better if I died. The Nighthawk was very much in pain. He was crying out loud and flying round and round in the sky. The Nighthawk flew to his younger brother, who was a kingfisher. Good evening, brother. What's happened to you in the middle of the night? Hi. I decided to fly far, far away across the sky. I came here to say my last goodbye to you. No, please don't go, brother. I have made up my mind. Please don't say anything. You have to stop hunting on fishes more than you really need. Goodbye, then. Nighthawk was crying and flew away from the kingfisher. After the dawn, the sun rose in the east. Even though the sun was so bright, Nighthawk forced himself to fly towards the sun. Mr. Sun! Mr. Sun! Please take me to where you are! I don't care if I burn to death! You are Nighthawk, aren't you? I see. You must be in such pain. But you are a night bird. Try asking the stars tonight. When he gave a bow to the sun, he suddenly felt dizzy. The Nighthawk fell straight towards the grass field. The Nighthawk felt like he was in a dream. He was flying in between red and yellow stars. He was blown all the way by the winds. 
he also felt the hawk come over and grab his body. Then he realized that it was nighttime already. Then the night hawk jumped up into the sky. He flew straight towards the Orion star that was beautifully shining in the western sky and shouted, Mr. Star, Mr. Western Star, please take me to where you are. I don't care if I burn to death. The Orion didn't even listen to what the Nighthawk said and kept singing a courageous song. Next, the Nighthawk flew to the Southern Great Dog. Mr. Star, Mr. Southern Star, please take me to where you are. I don't care if I burn to death. Don't be silly. You are just a bird. It will take more than a thousands of millions of years for you to get to my place. The Nighthawk was disappointed and tottering to the ground. But the Nighthawk somehow stopped himself from falling and then flew up again. The Nighthawk shouted towards the northern Great Bear. Mr. Star! Mr. Northern Star! Please take me to where you are. I don't care if I burn to death. Hey, Nighthawk, why don't you calm down? In such situations, I suggest you jump into the ocean or jump into a cup of water with ice. The Nighthawk strained his energy and shouted towards the Eastern Eagle, which had just risen from the east. Mr. Star, Mr. Eastern Star, Please take me to where you are. I don't care if I burn to death. No, no, it's out of a question. There is no way for just a bird to become a star. The Nighthawk no longer had the power to fly in the sky. He closed his wings and eyes, then fell into the ground. At the point where his feet were just about to reach the ground, the Nighthawk suddenly flew up again. He flew up further and further, higher and higher. The air became thinner. His breath was frozen and white. The cold air stung his feathers. The Nighthawk no longer knew if he was flying or falling, nor facing up or facing down. However, his heart was filled with peace. Even though his large beak was crooked, he was somewhat smiling for sure. The Nighthawk once again looked up into the sky with tears in his eyes. That was the end of Nighthawk. After a while, Nighthawk opened his eyes. Then he clearly saw his body burning while shining in beautiful blue. Nighthawk became a star. The Nighthawk star burned on. It burned on forever. The Nighthawk star is still burning on, even now. <laughs>